You was an Olympian, what was you? Yes, not? I was in the Olympics. What what year was that? Uh, that was 2000. Uh, Sydney 2000. Okay, well, well which one was that? Uh, was that was in Sydney. In Sydney. Yeah, 2000. Oh, okay, 2000 Sydney. How was that whole experience for you? Ah, uh, it was a wonderful experience. Yeah. Uh, as an amateur, the Olympic is the ultimate. Yes. So, and being a young, when I was a young boy growing up, I wanted to go to the Olympics and I wanted to win a gold medal. So, qualifying for the Olympics, that was major for me. Yes. So, thankful. Wonderful experience. And then, um, am I right in thinking you're southpaw? Yes, the best southpaw. Yes. Okay. You're southpaw, but usually a lot of southpaws are left handed. Yeah. Uh, is that the case with you? No, that's not that's not the case with me. Uh, yeah. For some reason, uh, actually, I'm, I was surprised myself when I found out the difference between Sapo and Orthodox. When I started boxing, I started very young. So I didn't know the difference between Sapo and Orthodox. I just started as a Sapo. And luckily, it worked for me. And my kind of Sapo is quite different anyway. So. Luckily, my coaches didn't try to switch me, despite knowing I'm right-handed. I'm right-handed. I'm left hand. I'm, le I'm left-footed. I'm, I know I'm right-footed and right-handed. But still, that's a sample. The only thing I do with left is boxing. That's uh, that, that, yeah, so that's I'm a unique kind of, story right yes, there. I'm kind of weird. You know, one of the closest friends to you is um, you know Lomachenko. He's also right-handed. Yeah. When he's yeah. when he signs an autograph. He, um, he, um, he, he writes with his right hand. So, me. you know. <laughs> and, you know, when I watch him a few times, his, his style is quite similar to mine. Yes. Uh, a lot of things I was doing in the, in the amateurs, even my yeah. early yes. pro, he's doing, he's doing it. So, he's a very good boxer, very fast, technical, moves, moves well. He's a boxer. I like that. I don't just like people smashing each other up. Fox, do what the, uh, 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 anybody cannot do in fight. Everybody can fight. Yes. Well, almost everybody can fight. Yes. But not everybody can box. So now I train people. I want my boxers to box. Use your brain. Use your skills. Use your techniques. A guy, a guy fighting in the pub cannot do that. That's what you should do. That's the difference between a boxer and a fighter. Everybody's a fighter, but not everybody's a boxer. Okay. Um, what made you start boxing? Can you remember? <laughs> that was a weird story. That was because I got bitten by a girl. <laughs> really? Actually, my dad was a boxing coach. Yeah. So I've been going to the gym just to watch. I didn't want to box. I was doing basketball. But one of these days, I went to the gym and one of his boys were like, was like, can you fight this girl? I'm like, come on. A girl? Not knowing the girl has been training. So they gave us the gloves and she knocked me down two, three times in one round. Wow. I, and I was so upset. I was crying. And... Uh, Two weeks later, I went to the gym and I started boxing. Okay. Um, you've got a bit of a success story because when you first started um, your amateur, you lost your few fights first. Yeah, didn't actually, you? yeah, I lost many fights as an amateur. Right? Wow. Well, earlier started, on. Yeah. Actually, my first three fights, I lost. So Even what though, you go in? I lost and I, I got a lot of encouragement from people because of my style. Yes. Then, back then in Nigeria, when people love your style, they will come and spray you money. Okay. So, often time, all those fights I lost, I was getting more money than the guy who won. Oh. Yeah, they were giving me more money than the guy who <laughs> won. I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe I'm good because I was very fast, I was moving very well, yeah. and people like that style, and they were giving me money. I could make like twice the amount the, the winner made so I just I kept going yeah, that's, that's as it. against what many people thought my dad didn't actually force me to box yes he didn't force me to box until later on when I realized I was good at it and I, I wanted to stop for box for football 
because I was alright in football too. And it made me like, it was like, no, 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 no. You can't do that. It was very strict on that, and you cannot do that. You are good in boxing, you are okay in football, but you are better in boxing. So it made me stick to boxing, and it was right. Who did you box for as an amateur? Nigeria. Okay. No, I mean before. Do you have a, like a boxing club? In yeah, Nigeria? actually, yeah, I had a boxing club. It's closed down now. Okay. Uh, I was training on the floor. Yeah. In a school shed. No, no, a great gym. Yeah. Like you wouldn't even call it a gym. Yeah. But it was just a space, and yeah. and we go, we produced two Olympians from that gym. Wow. What was the other Olympian's name? Uh, the other one is Kenya there. Okay. Uh, he was in Atlanta Olympics. Oh, okay. He was a silver medalist in the All African Games. Uh, he's the he's the chief he's the coach for the Nigerian Army team now. Really? Yeah. Okay. And myself. So, and we got another pro who, who who used to reside in Italy from that gym. So, but then the gym is closed down. They closed down the gym because the school yeah. don't want us to use the gym anymore. Oh, okay. That's a shame. I'm, I'm in yeah. the process of starting a new gym over there just to sponsor them. Okay, that, that, that'll be a good, um, good thing for you to do. Now, let's um, fast forward from the Olympics. Um, you turned pro shortly after, did you? Or? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, how many professional fights did you have? Uh, I, had, I had 34 professional fights. Okay. Uh, I won 32, I lost two. Two, okay. Because one of your famous um, loss was against uh, Lu Lucas, Lucas Mat Matize. Matize. Yeah. Um, how was his punching power at the time? Well, his punching power was unreal. Like, literally unreal. It was unrealistic, it was not natural. But I'll leave it like that. <laughs> oh. so, because around that time, there was no water testing. Oh. There was no water drug testing. And, uh, hang on, we're gonna do some apps now. Eight. So uh, there was no water testing. So people were using whatever they wanted. I was naive. I just, because coming from the Olympic background, you get tested all the time. So I, all I just have to do is eat, eat ever, and train. That's it. I believe in my skill. I believe in my 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 hard work that I will do well, and that was what I was doing. But in the US, people were like, you're stupid, man. Everybody's doing it. You should do it. But I asked for a drug test before the fight. They turned that down. That's, that's his volume. But, so his, his power was unreal. It's, it's, it was unnatural. But then, it's one of those things. It's one of yes, those things. Because I remember watching that fight, and there's a lot of the stages you was at boxing in, you know. Yes. But it's only when he hit you. you and I think it. one of my mistakes was because I was too tough for my own good. Yeah. You know, being a negotiant, naturally you're tough like, who the hell are you? Yeah. You want to hit? You want to punch? Let's punch. Let's punch. You got two hands, I got two hands. But I could have, even, even with, the, with the situation, I could have boxed to my strength, which was using my brain, which was using my skills. If I had done that, I would have won regardless. I would have made the fight easier. But I let my heart overrule my head. I was, I was ready to fight. You want to fight? Let's fight. But that was not, that was not smart. I could have boxed better. All right. So what, what's next for you now? Uh, I am, I am teaching people. I'm teaching boxing imparting the knowledge I got on others. Yes. Uh, young guys, amateurs, professionals. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm studying at the moment as well. Okay, what are you uh, studying? Doing sports science. Okay. So whatever I do I want to I want to be the best at it. Okay. That's the reason I need, I wanted I decided to go to uni to go and do sports science. I had enough knowledge, I had coaching certificates, but I still want to get you know the science part of boxing, you know, and the psychological part of boxing as well. Very true. Psychological part mentioned. of sports. So I want to be the best I can be. I'm gonna be freakingly good. <laughs> um, is there any other way people could get in contact with you if you want to know a bit more? 
one or one one or not former Olympian to train them. Yeah, number well, or social media. Yeah, yeah, they can get you. They can message me on Facebook. You can get my uh, my Instagram. Uh, What's your Instagram name? Olushe uh, Jose. Okay. Yeah, on Instagram. So they can always find me if they want to. Oh, okay. All right then, sir. Well, thanks for your time. It's Great been a pleasure, pleasure meeting you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing good things coming from your end. Thank you, thank yeah, you. I thank see you your bro. dedication thank you. and good luck, bro. Thank you very much. This is Uncle T signing out.